with everything that you do. You're a mom, you're a teacher, you're an author. What, what do you do in your spare time if you have any? I read a lot. <laughs> um, I actually just posted on my Instagram. I was just at the KPL today picking up some more books. And so I was very excited because when my to be red pile gets bigger, it makes me happy. And <laughs> when it starts getting small, I start getting almost like a little anxious, like, oh, I need more books. So I read a ton in my spare time. I've recently taken up running. It was during the pandemic, really. Um, so now I run fairly regularly. I call myself a casual runner. Yeah. And I'm doing Duolingo, thanks to my daughter who got me started on that at Christmas. So I'm learning Dutch and I'm relearning French. Oh my goodness. So you are a busy lady. <laughs> Those are just in small snippets though. Like the Duolingo is like a 20 minute yeah, a 20 minute time commitment. But that's still hard, like learning a language or relearning. Um, it's not easy, right? So, I mean, I give credit to you. The, the good thing with, I found with this pandemic, to some extent, if we want to look at a silver lining on it, is a lot of people have taken up hobbies or got into fitness or, um, you know, different things they would have never had the opportunity to do. So, um, I mean, that, that that's amazing. I mean, good for you. I was expecting maybe one or two things, but you're you're pivoting so much. Like, I, I, I need to spend a day with you to actually see how you're <laughs> time managing your day. <laughs> I get up very early. Do you? I start writing in the morning because the best time for me to write is early in the morning when the house is quiet and there's yeah. no other demands or expectations on you. You don't feel like you should be doing something else. So I get up and start writing by five. And then I, I do my writing and then I do my Duolingo. I, because I'm teaching from home right now, I have the time I would normally be commuting is when I squeeze in something like the Duolingo. So since I don't have to drive to work, I was like, okay, well, I have 20 minutes. That's when I can squeeze in that little Dutch lesson. That's and then it doesn't incredible. take away from anything else. Yeah. So you start at five. So when does your day actually end? That's, I go to bed early as well. So I usually am in bed by nine. Oh my goodness. With a that's, book. That's when I do my reading. You're reading, right? So, so you're very time, time managed well. That's good. So that's a one good thing that everybody can have as a takeaway from this. Now, for anybody out there that is wanting to look at writing a novel or a children's book, how, what is the number one thing you would tell them to start with? You have to actually sit down and do the thing. So I think that's the hardest part is just sitting down and actually writing and doing it consistently. A novel for sure takes an enormous amount of time and getting it written is just the first step. Then you have to revise it and that can take longer than maybe writing your first draft. Well, a picture book might not be as time intensive. It's still just sitting down and forcing yourself to actually do it. And also I would say finding a community. There's a great community of writers um, online, especially on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. There's all kinds of writing communities. So to find one that fits for you because they're full of resources and advice and encouragement. I have a writing group here in KW um, that's been like a lifeline. So we we force each other to write. We hold each other accountable because we have to share our pieces <laughs> when we meet. So you don't want to be the one to show up and say, I didn't do mine. Yeah. Um, but we also keep each other from going crazy too. So <laughs> yeah, but that's important, right? To have, again, we talked about your family support, but actually having a community of people that are sharing the same interests is so important to help you with that initiative, right? To be able to continue that. So I love that. Thank you for sharing that. That's amazing.